Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, David? I'm fine. Happy because it's Friday. Yay. I can sleep more tomorrow. <laughs> I yeah. only sleep about five hours and I, I feel very tired at this time, but mm. tomorrow is my day. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, yeah, I'm, I I know I'm excited too. It's the last day of of, of the week. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm glad that we we can we can rest a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Um. How was your day? Busy, busy. This day is busy. It's the last day of the week. We are doing quizzes and the assignment tasks to the students. It's a very mm. easy. Oh, but you said you said that you were going to have um uh what's it called exams, right? Yes, yes, we have a quiz as well with all also, the students. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. It's for for today or yes. you yes, had today? today. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. How how were how were the quizzes? Ah. Well, it was good. Yes, it's good. Yes, uh, the problem. The problem is that the students was uh, uh, were not uh, don't have the, the the correct foundation because they they don't have presential classes since uh, uh, two thousand and twenty, uh, and it's not the same. It's not the same, mm -hmm. and they have no no correct foundation, and we are working in that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. It, it's, yeah, you're right. It's not the same. Yeah. I mean, with the, you know, we've, we've tried to do the best with the online classes, but it's not, it's not going to be the same, right? Then, yeah, yeah. Especially, I think, with a, a topic like math, you know, yes. where you have to, you, you really have to, be there to see it, to to feel it, to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. It's it's difficult. Yeah, but you know we you're doing the best you can, and um, you know I I think um, if if the students feel that you're you're really working and trying to help them or anything, that's going to make a difference, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, I hope so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, Fernando Ernesto. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm, I'm here. I'm good. Okay, good. How was your day today? Uh, a little busy, but. It's, yeah. it's not in the normal day. Well, I am working from my, my house because I am I have medical leave. So oh. I have to, uh -huh. to, to go to the office every day. But this this week I I was working from from home. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, so at least at least you have the opportunity, right, of working it from home. Yes, I That's... spoke with with my boss and. She and he uh, let me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, your your boss is very nice. <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah, really good. nice. Oh, I'm I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. It's always important to have somebody that can support you that way. All right. So that's great. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Um. And and are you able to uh, do everything from the house, or is it, uh, or or are you a little bit limited? Uh, I am a developer, so I need I need only my computer and oh. internet. I can work from everywhere. 
Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that, that's that's a very big advantage of work, uh, being able to, um, you know, uh, work have the opportunity of working remotely you can you can do it from wherever you like <laughs> right look at me i'm i'm doing it from from half across the world <laughs> so yes. yeah yeah that's 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 the the big advantage yeah okay good 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 um let's see who's here also i can see jose osmin are you there Yes, it's Charon here. Okay, wonderful. Hi, how are you? Um, so far so good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. You look. You look very relaxed. Mm, little bit, kind of. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Okay. Good. 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 I'm. 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 I'm glad that you're relaxed. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, because um, you know. It's it's important to feel just to interact, relax, especially on a Friday, yeah. Friday evening, right? Do you yeah, work? On, right. Do you work tomorrow? Yes, I had to work. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. It, well. Okay. But at, at least, at least. Um. Well, do you work all day? Uh, from seven to five, actually. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you know, that's life. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you work work Saturday Sunday as well? Yes. Yeah, wow. this schedule is so bad, and I had to work on Saturday Sunday too. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, but the important thing is that we have a job. I think that's always what I say. Sometimes yeah. we don't have the best schedule. Sometimes we wish we had things differently, but at least we have a job, right? We have and, a job, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of people don't have a job. You know, they're well qualified. They have, you know, uh, their university studies. They have everything, but they don't have a job. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So at least we have a job. That's the important thing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Hello, Eliana. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm great. Thank you. And you? Good. I'm pretty good. Yeah. A little bit cold. Just a little bit cold today. I don't know. Today, I, I today in the, um, during the night, I felt a little bit colder. I haven't even checked this, the weather, but it was just a little bit cold. But yeah, you know, not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how, are you working tomorrow? No, I just work from Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Ah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so tomorrow you can just chill, sleep, sleep late. Ah, uh, yeah. I love uh -huh. sleep late. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best. That's the best to sleep sleeping late. Yeah, but so usually I use my weekends to do like the home stuff, like, I don't know, clean the house, maybe take my car to the, to the car wash, um, mm -hmm. maybe go to the supermarket with my daddy or with my sister, mm -hmm. um, things like that. I try to, to stay at home on weekends. Mm. And first of all, because I love to like to rest from yeah. the week from the week, and because I'm trying to save money, so everything yeah. is like expensive. If if I I want to go with my friends, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's okay because I love that, but I'm mm -hmm. trying to save money because I have some plans for 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 my, my birthday that is in may so i oh. i'm trying to save money so oh okay mm -hmm. is it too much to ask uh if we can know what those plans are yeah no no it's okay i want to travel to republica dominicana oh. for my birthday or 
if my boss and maybe okay, I I because I, I have to ask for my vacations. But mm -hmm. most of the time I only can take the days if if he is on his vacations. So mm -hmm. maybe I have to wait until August, August. But mm -hmm. it's okay, but I want to maybe in May I want to buy my flight ticket. But yeah, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Republica Dominicana. That's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a very nice trip. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you have a specific place where you're going to in oh. Republica Dominicana? Yeah, Punta Cana. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my best friend went the last year with her with he, her husband. Uh -huh. She told me that it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. And and yeah. I think that that I want to to achieve that, and I hope I, and I think I could do that. I think I can. Yeah, <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm, oh, I'm, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you you were able to do that, right? Because um, um, yeah, you deserve it. You definitely deserve it. I'm I'm, I'm glad you're able to do that. Um, yeah. yeah it, yeah, Punta Cana is, is, I've heard, well, I've seen pictures of Punta Cana and also very beautiful. Um, I, I, I've i heard also, but I don't know how far away it is. I've heard Boca Chica is also very, very nice. Mm, yeah, I, I was looking like for nice beaches mm -hmm. because I love beach like you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the, like the distance between the um, Santo Domingo Mm -hmm. to for example uh, Boca Chica is like almost three hours Punta three Cana hours three hours Punta Cana is yeah. a little bit um closer uh, closer yeah it's uh -huh. but it's still uh a little bit um mm, far from the from the airports there. like around two hours and a half mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the um, Punta Cana are closer. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I was checking that that kind of details because I want to plan this like a very. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, are they in opposite directions? Because I haven't really ever um, mm -hmm. checked that out. What I saw in the map is like in the same. It's like a like we said in in, in a Salvador, like in La Pasada. <laughs> Punta Cana oh. is like here and Boca Chica is like um oh, okay. Oh, on the way. On the way, yeah. Like yeah. Uh okay. Mm -hmm. Well maybe maybe when you're there in Punta Cana, maybe you can go to Boca Chica. Yeah. You know? I saw pictures of Boca Chica and and looks pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. The water, oh my god, <laughs> the color. Yeah, I I was I was actually told about uh, Boca Chica by a local, um, you know, and locals always know the be the best yeah. places, right? So, um, yeah, and yeah, he he, he suggested uh, Boca Chica, so um, I I think it's it's worth looking into, right? Yeah, um, yeah because. I'm sure that it probably it, it might be for some reason I don't know because for some reason he suggested more that one than than uh, Punta Cana so maybe there's less tourism I don't know maybe I think that mm -hmm. Punta Cana is like more like commercial place yeah exactly so also that means that it's probably more expensive yeah right yeah, if you, that, that... If you want to go to Punta Cana, you have to look for. Well, first of all, you have to check your budget, right? So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to to do to to save right. money, checking my budget, and then maybe until May, I I I will know how money I have to spend, right? But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. It, it's always good to 
uh, calculate things, right? And if you can um, do things a little more cheaper, you know, that's, that's better, right? So try to see what areas um, you can buy things that are cheaper. For example, you know, one way that you can uh, save some money on a trip is instead of going out to restaurants, go to the supermarket and buy food and uh, cook it in your hotel, you know, or instead of going to a hotel, go to like, um, you can also like go to Airbnbs. You can find Airbnbs that are much more, um, you know, accessible, things like that. You know, yeah. that actually it is it's very, mm -hmm. like, max, more accessible. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are things that you could try, right? So, um, yeah, hopefully it, it works out for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm always so excited to hear when people are going to travel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just, I, my personally, I love to travel. So I'm just really excited about that. Yeah. All right. Let's see who else I haven't said hi to. Um. Dora, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, good, good. How was your day? Uh, my very quiet. Quiet? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's very good that it was a quiet day. Okay, good. Do you work tomorrow? Dora? Dora, are you there? Hello, Dora? Same. Okay, and so your camera's Sorry. on. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I don't work in, on Saturday. You don't no. work Saturday? Yeah. Oh, good. good Only good. one, just a. Uh, uh, I don't. I. I will don't. I. Uh, I. Uh, import or or in the. But it's if it's not necessary. I don't go. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tomorrow, will it be necessary for you to work? No. Oh, okay, good, mm. good, good. Okay, yeah. excellent. I'm glad to hear that. So you will have um, a day off tomorrow. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. All right. And uh, hello, William. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Okay, good, good, good. Um, I see you're also very relaxed. <laughs> yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, is today your last day um, of work during the week? No, I have to work tomorrow. Oh, you do? Yeah. Just mm -hmm. the middle of the day. Oh, okay. Half, half the day. Mm -hmm. Half the day. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Well, just four hours then. It'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what? Easy. You, you know what sometimes i i say you know uh you like we tend to complain about things like we're like oh you know i have to work saturdays and everything but you know what other places they're worse than than el salvador for example here in turkey people have to now work 50 hours a week that's the full time 50 hours okay. yeah can you imagine that that's yes yeah it's pretty bad i mean el salvador is 44 but here it's 50 hours that's six more hours a week but, you know, so you know at, at least at least in el salvador it's six hours less right so so it's you know you're you're good <laughs> You're good. Yeah. Only, 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 only four hours more. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. four hours. yeah. Good. 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 Excellent. Uh, Jose Marcos. Hello. How are you? 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Hi, hi. Yeah. Uh, everything's fine. Good Friday. Okay, good, good. Yeah, TGIF, right? Have you guys ever heard of TGIF? No. No? Uh, it's 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 actually very common expressions that we have in English. We say TGIF, which means um, thank God it's Friday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, we always like, actually, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, like this phrase in in Shrek. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, there's actually a restaurant that's called TGIF. Have you, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I don't know if it's still there, but I knew that there was one in in the 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 shopping mall, um, Paseo General, the shopping mall. And uh, there's a, there was a TGIF before. I don't know if it's still there, uh, but. Is a Academia Europea? Hmm. No, no, it's a restaurant. A restaurant ah. that's called the TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, but I, I I know that it, there used to be one in in um, in Paseo General, uh, the, the 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 commercial center. But um, I don't know if it's still there. I don't know. Yeah. But anyways, that's something. Yeah. Um. And let me see, Roberto Luis, are you there? Roberto Luis? Okay, eh, Roxana? Hi, I'm here, but I'm driving right now. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Thank you for connecting, I really appreciate that. Okay, uh, Jose Osmin, um, we can't see you anymore. Yeah, there you go. Okay, <laughs> you keep on disappearing on us. <laughs> it's it's just that sometimes when you're on your cell phone and you're, uh, you switch to another doing something else, the camera switches off. That's why. So just just be careful with that. Um, okay, so actually, I'm gonna be taking attendance. Remember, guys, I need your cameras on so that I can take the attendance. So uh, please, if you can help me out with that. Hmm, Anna Claudia is not here. She's always here. Some Something must have happened to her. Okay. Um, David Samuel? Yes, teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Dora Elizabeth? Present. Thank you, welcome. Uh, Fernando Ernesto? Present. All right, welcome. Fernando Marvin? Fernando Marvin? Okay. Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo. Not here. Okay. Guys, if you can please help me. Fernando Ernesto, we can't see you. Uh, so uh, you're actually the next one on my list. Fernando Ernesto? Fernando Ernesto? Fernando Ernesto Cosme Figueroa? Okay, perfect. Okay. Here. All right, wonderful. All right. Um, all right, Francisco Eduardo? Francisco Eduardo. Okay. Uh, Heidi. Heidi Ejuania. Not here. Mm -hmm. uh, Iliana. Present. Wonderful. Welcome. 
Harvin. Harvin. No. Okay. Uh, Jose Marcos. Present. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. Uh, Jose Osmin. Present. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. Uh, Jose Wilfredo. Jose Wilfredo. Hmm. Okay, not here. Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel. Mm -hmm, okay. Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roxana Ivet. Present. Okay, welcome. William Alexander. Present. Welcome. And Suleyma Ivonne. Suleyma Ivonne. Okay, Wendy Patricia. Wendy Patricia, Wilfredo Guardado, Wilfredo Guardado, okay, all right, very good, um, okay, uh, I see there are a lot the of, Sorry. oh, okay, Fe hello, Fernando Marvin, Hello, well, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, I see that there are lots of people that are missing. Um, is the traffic really bad in some, in, in, you know, I don't know if in San Salvador or other, other areas where these people live. Is it really, really bad? I don't know. Kind of? I know it's Friday, so I'm guessing it might be because of that. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait. Hopefully they, they connect. Okay, guys. Um, so um what we're we gonna do yesterday I got you to work in breakout rooms. Um just a second. Okay, so um Okay, let me share here our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so this is the ad, uh, advanced four. Okay. Okay, so this is the advanced four. It's day number eight. The date is Friday, February tenth, two thousand twenty-three, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, oops, I don't know what it's All right. So we were looking at this vocabulary. I don't know why it keeps on moving. Okay, so we're looking at this vocabulary related to IOTs. I know this vocabulary it can be related to many, many, many different things. So I want to uh, stress that it's uh, we're talking about IOTs, right? Okay, so um, uh, we're going to be looking at the um, analytics, right? Uh, I don't know why it keeps on moving. Sorry, but I, sorry, guys, I have no idea why it's doing that. Okay, so then we have the data-driven optimization, the autom automation, and the digital transformation. Okay, so I put you yesterday in groups, um, and um, we're going to go back to the same groups, and we're going to be discussing the vocabulary, okay? Sounds good, everybody? And if I'm not mistaken, I sent it to you guys in the chat. 
right? Yeah, I did. Teacher, yeah. I, I don't have a group, so. Okay, all right, don't worry. I will assign you a group, so don't, don't, don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Um. Okay, so let me create the groups according to yesterday's. According to the to the um, to the groups from yesterday, and let me just check. Okay, so just give me a moment while I get this information. Okay, so first group. See if I if I get this correctly. I have Dora. Eh, wait just a second, guys. I'm trying to figure this one out. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have. Dora is in group number one. Okay. Fernando. Fernando. Ernesto. And Fernando Marvin. The Fernandos. And Wendy. Who is not here. Right? You were you were in a group yesterday, right? Did right. I get it correct? Okay. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Now, in the other room, I had Ana Claudia, who is not here. I had Heidi, who is also not here. Jose Wilfredo, who is also not here. Roxana, who is driving. And William Alexander. Roxana, are you almost home? Yes, I just arrived. Right now. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so I'll just put you in the in that group so that you can work with William because the others are not here today. Okay, which is really weird because those are usually you know the ones that are always here, but something happened to them, I guess. Um. Okay, so group number three, I have Francisco Eduardo. Jose Marcos, Juan Miguel, who is not here, and Ramon Mata, who is also not here. Okay, so it's only going to be Francisco Eduardo and Jose Marcos then. And in the last group, I have David and Jose Osmin. Okay, so um, what I will do then is I'm going to add, okay, so to Francisco and Jose Marcos group, I will add Iliana. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, I think everybody should have a group now, okay? So um, I am going to give you about 15, no, about 20 minutes, let me see. Yeah, about 20 minutes to um, uh, to find out the, the information. Remember, you're going to find information on the internet and you're gonna find definitions I don't want you to copy exact word by word the meaning of that of, of, of that vocabulary. Instead, what I want you to do is write down what you what you understand, like in your own words. I want you to write down the meaning. Okay, so don't do it with the exact words because what we're going to be doing in a, in in a few minutes we're going to be comparing with other classmates. So I don't want you guys to come up with the exact same wording. That's that's boring, um, and that really doesn't tell say that you understand it. But if you try to put in your own words, then you try to understand it more. Okay.
All right, so um, is that clear for everybody what we're going to be doing? Yes, teacher. Yeah, no other questions? Okay, all right, perfect. So let's open the rooms. Hmm. It means, um, well, I imagine that that concept needs to be talking about IoT, right? It means Internet of Things Analytic is a data an analysis tool that assesses the width range of data collected from IoT devices. This is analytics. Analytic is a data ana analysis tool that evaluates the, the wheel range, range of data collected from IoT devices. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have some definition here. Analytics is the application of data analysis tools and proce procedures to realize value from the huge volume of data generated by connect inter internet of things devices. Yeah, it's the same. Just remember, William, that it's data. We, we pronounce it data. Ah, okay, data, mm -hmm. thanks. You're welcome. Driving data driving optimization. Information result resulting from the systematic analysis of data or statistics. Siento que tiene más sentido la anterior. Data driving optimization data, sorry. Data driving optimization uses observation of the random variable. How do you say variables, teacher? Variables. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Variables as direct inputs to mathematically programming problems. The first part of the tutorial describes the robust optimization paradigm in detail in single stage and multi stage problem. Okay. 
Mm. It's like um, it's strategies, right? Yeah, like a programming mm -hmm. using mathematical. Difference. Yeah, it makes a strat strategic decision based. The optimization I have a I found that the the use of the largely automatic equipment in a system of manufacturing or other optimization or other optimization and production processes processes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my mic was off and, oh. and I was talking. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Uh, Fernando, so. um, just just some uh, a little uh, observation. Um, Mike, we say Mike. Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike. Yeah, okay. like 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 the name, like 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 the short for Michael. We say Mike. Mike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, Sorry, I was talking in mute. Oh, it's okay. Um, automation, in a simple way, is the use of machine for for do the job that usually people do. Yes. Yeah. And people. digital transformation uh, is integrated software. Machine, but the machine is a uh, is a uh, work. Uh, work with system. Yeah. Not, 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 on, not only the only machine. The machine is the machine is going work uh, with system. Work. Yeah, machine work with systems. Uh -huh. And digital transformation is integrate software machines and all kind of devices uh, in your processes. So, do you uh, agree? Yes, like it's a. Uh... But it's a uh, uh, right. I have the this concept is the chance associated with digital technology, the application and integration into all aspects of human life and society. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Society.
Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other partner, what do you think? The mic is open. Uh, about what concept? Uh, searching results about the, that, that data driving optimization. About out, out, automation, right, teacher? Automation. 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 <laughs> Thank you, it says the word automation, an automatization. Automation, oh, sorry, automatization. <laughs> automatization, yeah, and it's other word. Yeah, automation is different. Um, automation, e, hold on. Uh, Automation, yeah, automation is what we're looking at, right? And the other one is uh, automatization. No, automatization. <laughs> we have we have to research about the four the the four concepts, no? Right. Yeah. So I think there is automatization. Let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah, the automatization is the, the development of the skill. The development of yeah. the skill. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's having to do more like the the action it's not a verb it's it's not a verb but it has to do with the action um whereas automation is a is a different thing oh, okay mm -hmm. it's it's just, it's just, automation is more like um the the the, the uh, what's the word? Oh, the noun. Mm -hmm. Whereas or automation, no. yeah, it's more having to do with the noun. And no. uh, yeah, automatization is more having to do with the action, the activity. And yeah, it's probably the best word, uh, the activity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go visit other groups. Do you guys have any more questions? No more question, your Okay. All right. All right. I'll see you guys um later. I'm gonna go and visit the other groups. Okay. Okay, so are we done? Uh, there are there are many, many concepts, the digital transformation. Okay.
is in the data and in Okay. Okay, so the next concept is our mission. And okay. our mission is a uh, mission. mission is when um, the, the final result of this or the RDD is to minimize the human intervention. So it is like the, the union of, or no, it's like the, the, the previous concept that the machine was learning about uh, the information. But in this case, it's like uh, the machine already, they have, they, they know what they have to do. So uh, they perform some action or some tasks uh, like a routine, for example, um, I was reading an example that, and there are some sensor in uh, intelligent houses uh, where they, uh, you know, they measure the temperature and they, they establish like a average temperature for the house or, or, um, or for example, turn the lights. Uh, some tasks are performed uh, um, by themselves, like the machine perform the task. By uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, the human intervention is minimized. It's minimized, or in some cases, is uh, not needed. <laughs> uh, re reduce the the human intervention. Reduce or eliminate. Uh, Okay, do you have any definition? Yes, I do have it. Put it in the chat. I... Here, I'm back. So, are we finished? I think we finished, right? Yes, yes. You have the four things? Okay. Just to check, I... Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I guess that we have the four concepts. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'll see you guys in the main room in a few minutes. I'm just going to make sure that everybody is finished as well. Okay. Hi guys, how are you doing? Are you finished or do you need more time? Uh, we're finished, I guess. You're finished? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Okay, all right. Just gonna make sure that everybody else is finished as well. Okay.
process to process to the um, with to use more with the technology. So in that case, they use more uh, like more technologies to automate or perform their their process, so they can be more competitive in the market. So that is the digital transformation with uh, enterprise or small business uh, take uh, more in consideration the use of the technologies in all their process. Hi guys, just wondering, are you guys finished or do you need more time? Mm, we already finished, teacher. Oh, We're discussing the, the last concept, digital transformation. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll see you in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Hey guys, are you finished or do you need more time? So we need more time, teacher. We need more time? How much more time? I don't know, like three minutes. So that we were like making so that the, the, just the information, we're putting the information on the table. Okay, how about we, ha uh, can I give you two minutes? Yeah, I think that is that okay. is cool. Two minutes. Perfect. All right. Have two minutes then. I don't two. know why you're listening so so little. So I don't have enough sound. Are uh, you still getting the same issue? In order to, in order to, to, um, to be more competitive. Yeah, market. yeah, and at the end, um, deliver like a more value, goods or service to the customers. And deliver more goods, value. Value more value, more value, more value. For for user or, or customer? Customers or users, yeah. Goods or services to the customers. To be more competitive, like Jose Marco said. To be. Okay. In order to to deliver more value. Mm, I have I have this. I don't know if you want to complete the idea with this. I wrote uh transfer digital transformation is when companies integrate the digital technologies into their process or processes, I think, in order to be more competitive and deliver more value goods or services to the customers okay perfect can you uh, uh type in the your definition yeah i'm gonna place things in the chat yeah and uh, now are you already you already wrote it right the concept that we Thank you, Romeo. Welcome. Okay, I think we're done. Right?
Hello, Wendy. Hello, Juan Miguel. Hello, teacher. Wow, teacher, you're beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, I can't see you, Wendy. Yes, teacher, because I I turn off my light. My light. Oh, okay. Um, are you sick? Yes, teacher. Right now, I um, have a a migraine. Migraine. Yes. yes. So migraine. It, it, it never went away because yesterday you had a migraine too. Yes, teacher. I have a crisis. A cri a crisis. Uh huh. Yes. And my neurologist is saying me that I need a sleep. Um, and stay in my in my room in the light, turn off light, turn off of light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the the when well, in español teacher el brillo me hace demasiado daño ahorita. Mm -hmm. Entonces estoy con pastillas una tras otra prácticamente cada seis horas para que mm -hmm. me, me disminuya como el, el efecto mm -hmm. de la misma. Yeah, and, and, and that's many times that, that is brought up by stress. So you have to you have to just, you know, try to calm down, uh, especially during the weekend. You you don't work Saturday and Sunday? No, no, no. Okay, no. good, good, good. Because mm -hmm. that way you can relax and just take it yes. easy and hopefully you will be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, Juan Miguel, are you there? Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel Bran. Okay, well, if you can please connect so that we can, um, so that we can count you in as being part of the group. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to bring everybody back because um, they're, they already finished the exercise. Okay, so I'm going to bring everybody back. Teacher, I turn off the camera, but I stay here and try to participate in the, in the class. Good. Okay. Good, good. Thank All you. right. Just just that when I I um, take attendance, just make sure that that you okay. are uh, that you turn on your camera. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Um, okay, so uh, I know you guys are finished. What we're going to do now, I'm going to uh, be putting um, or mixing everybody up so that you can share with your partner the concepts that you have. Okay, got it? Yeah, got it. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to recreate these rooms.
Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so <laughs> a moment. Go ahead. All right, so I'm going to give you about seven minutes approximately to compare your answers, okay? So you can all share your, your answers and discuss if there's anything that you didn't understand so that you can understand it better, okay? So here we go. Let's open all the rooms. Hi, David. You need to go out and come back in again? If, if I present a quick lift, yes. But now, no, I feel that it's controllable. Okay. But it's good, the flow can stop it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. To get, get in fields, and that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the, you know, people say, living the dream. Hi guys, I just wanted to make sure you guys are all in different, um, you were all in different groups, is that correct? Uh, yes. I was with Dora in, in the previous group. Oh really? Okay, hold on, let me change then. Uh, were you with Francisco Eduardo? Uh, no, Fernando and Dora. Fernando, okay, so, all right, so let me switch. Okay. I remember because Dora cloned my image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we all can remember the <laughs> Dora. <laughs> Yes, uh, her her camera is quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it, it feels like one of those um, you know, like X Men that can change form. <laughs> you know, okay. mystic. Uh, mystic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, all right. You guys were not together, right? No, this right. one. No. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, okay. Hello, Fernando. Hey. Hello. Uh, maybe the group of. Hi, guys. Change. I I just wanted to make sure you guys are in different groups now, right? You 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 come from different groups. Yes. 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 Okay. I don't know about this other group I have uh, with Fernando together. Were you together with Fernando? We were together in the previous group. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to change you then. I want you to be with somebody else. Fernando, can I change you? No problem. No problem. Okay, thank you. I'm going to move you to... 
Group number three. All right, go ahead and, and talk, guys. Okay. Whatever. Devices. Hi, guys. How do you work? I just wanted to make sure you come from different groups, right? You, you're not with the same people? No. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right, perfect. Okay. Okay. And yeah, analytics is... Hi guys, just wanted to make sure you are now in different groups, right? You. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you were not with each other. Well, Miguel, are you there? I'm not sure if you're there. Are you there? Juan Miguel? Juan Miguel Bran Mejia? Okay, well, you guys continue, okay? Okay. But um, I guess you can understand a lot this concept, right? But in my case, uh, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I have a little um, confused in the second data driving optimization. Optimization. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I, one... was reading, I was reading about this and in, in summary, you can see this concept like a, a process the data and present information, for example, if you have, for example, if you, you are in a big company and the boss wants uh, maybe a, a report to, to, to make a decision, a very important decision. So data driving optimization is that, uh, process the data to present information and the, 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 you, no, it's not a, it's not a, uh, the concept is related to the software because for present information you have for presenting information you have to create a software or maybe use a tool to to get the data uh, save it by the analytics analytics save the, save the data the data save the data the data and the data driver is is the way to process the data and present the data in the way that you want that is maybe in one maybe uh, talking about an ERP analytics is all the different models in the ERP the that ERP. receive the information and data driving optimization is when uh, the ERP generate a report like, but in a consolidated way I guess uh, maybe, maybe kind of, but ERP are different systems integrated in a, in a maybe a only system that you use. For example, you have a, a payroll system, you have a HR system, and when you join all the, that, those systems, you have a ERP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, in, the, in ERP, you have a data entry data and output data. Yeah. The, the mm -hmm. entry data is the, is the way the, the form that you maybe fill to make a process. Mm -hmm. And the, the output data is the report that you can generate in the system. So you have reports about maybe the sales of the of the month, the top sale, the top product sale, sell, uh, maybe the metric maybe the, mm -hmm. the top the top seller of the month and data driving uh, you make a you make a report you have a, a lot of, of tools to make a report but for example you have a report from top sellers you have mm -hmm. to get the data from the database and uh, um, put the condition for example i want from start at the moment to the end, fe February, that is the condition. And that is a software 
I there there are different tools to, to make reports, for example. Okay. It's, it's, it's like an example, maybe that is the, the way that, that I see the concept. Okay, I get it. And automation is when a company um, decide to implement technologic in their business because uh, you know usually in a accounting department for example they usually mm -hmm. have the papers and uh, some person until work the accounting in como en libros contables no sé cómo sería accounting box and maybe mm -hmm. uh, when mm -hmm. When uh, the, the business is booking, book bookkeep bookkeeping bookkeeping book bookkeeping mm -hmm. mm -hmm. book and maybe sometimes the business um, are considering uh, are uh, thinking about that uh, they can uh, get um, ERP or a system to consolidate different information. And that it, it depends on the company because sometimes, for example, if you you get a ERP, you don't want all the tools that the, the ERP has. For example, you want only the accounting. You can get only the accounting, and or maybe you you want only the uh, the invoices on to only for for uh, make invoices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for making invoices or direct sales or only for getting orders this depends on the company you, you can use only a module because your IRP has a lot of models for different purposes but in this case purpose. when uh, the company decide implement some tools like that they try to uh, work in, in Automation for ah, automation. Yes. Uh, well, automation is like a change a process. For example, if you today make a process using a paper, you now you maybe ask for a form, a system that has a form in this with the same data that you are writing in, in a form right now, but you now do an autom automation. And you run a, a form and fill the form in the, the, the data is saved, saved in the database. Now you, you don't fill a, a lot of papers. That is autom automation. Uh, maybe some, uh, before you, you need a, a person to save the, all the papers, and mm -hmm. now you you don't need it. You you have a system that the system makes all the those things. So it it change for for making better your your processes. It's sad, but it's true. <laughs> Yeah, the Something. thing is that maybe maybe is uh, a little expensive for business, but uh, to be honest with you, in accounting department, uh, in before it was really um, stressful because if you lost some papers, you have a problem in the future. And uh, well, when I was working in my previous job, I remember that um, they lost some invoice and they then they need to pay um, multa or algo así. A fine. The government, the government. Uh, How do you spell that word? Fine. Fine. Yeah, a fine. Encontrar? No, a fine. Like when you say I am fine. Ah, fine. It's a, fine. It's like a, okay, a fine. Yeah, but, but yeah, but in this case, instead of saying I am fine, because in that case, it, it depends like, on the context. A fine. A, a, yeah, because when you say I am fine, you're using it as an adjective, but this yes. is a fine, so it's a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in in that case, uh, 
maybe uh, for some companies or or some business. The TOEFL there and also there to get like more more information as well. Okay. okay. Interesting. Good. Yes. I need, Interesting. I need a job like that for practice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For practice and for working from home. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's a it's a privilege to we'll work from home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because you you are looking you get at it. Yeah, the stress, the money too. That's the time do you uh, uh do you you do west in the in the way <laughs> yeah i have i have a problem so that is a big problem so uh, like to get over there going because there are two hours in half that i had to like travel in order to arrive over there that yeah. is too much time. Right. Hey, me, I mean, <laughs> I, I travel three or four hours. Wow. Per day. Yeah. Because no, nowadays is the traffic this is worse than is worse than I don't know the last year. <laughs> yeah, with, with with this implementation, right? So just for the motorcycles. Oh yeah, that's it. Yes. Because uh, bef before this this new, no, no, sé cómo se dice mult. Is it like a ticket. fine? Sorry. A fine. A fine. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. fine. Yeah, I'll write it in the chat. A fine. Like when you say fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. How, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except that when you say "I'm fine," you use it as an adjective, and this is a noun. Ah, uh, that's a difference. And what is the difference? So, with ticket, it's it's almost with a it, ticket. A ticket um, is the 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 physical thing uh, that you get, and the the ticket shows you your fine. Your fine is the 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 amount that you have to pay for. Yeah, so that's the difference. Okay. Okay. That is complicated in English. All words are bears, adjectives, nouns. In Spanish too, it's just that you don't think about them because it, because you don't have to think about them. It, but but it, it but yes, it's actually it, Spanish is more complicated than English. Uh, mm -hmm. The English is is a uh, is a uh, uh, very simple. That says that they uh, the the amount of of words is 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 lower than the Spanish, right? Yes, there's less. There are less words. Yeah, exactly. And why is why is so hard for us? <laughs> <laughs> It's because learning a, a new language is always difficult. But the good news, Fernando, is that when you learn a third language, it's easier. If you already <laughs> know, if you already know a first, uh, if you if it's you have learned, yeah, if you have learned, more. if you have learned a second language, learning a third language is easier. But mm -hmm. any language that you learn the second time is usually going to be very more difficult because it's the first time. But then you get used to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many languages do you handle? Mm -hmm. It's hard to say because I, 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 I used to speak uh, French. But now I don't speak French anymore because I haven't been practicing it for a long time. But I can I can read it. I can read it. I can understand it. So I so it's like two fluent languages, one half language, and one language that I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the, the, the last language that you're learning? Turkish. Because uh, I have Turkish. to learn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have to learn it. There's no other way. I have to learn it. Do you speak in do you speak in English right now in your in your no? In what your house, in your okay. You live in, in Turkey. Turkey. In Turkey. 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 Mm -hmm. Turkey. Uh-huh. Right. And what language do you use? At home or outside? No, outside. Outside Turkish. Well, Turkish. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I learned. I have to use Turkish because people do not do not speak English here. Uh, only, mm -hmm. only people. Some some places like um, a, like big shopping malls, for example, they might know. They might have one person that speaks English. Um, not everybody, just like one one person in the in the store that speaks English, um, or in very touristic places. But the majority of the places, it's Turkish. Turkish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And and at your home? At home, I speak English because my roommate speaks English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it's a mix of language. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I do. You used to it. Hmm? you used to it yeah yeah you get used to it you get used to it I used before when I was living in El Salvador I was also a medical interpreter so I would I would um, uh, do the translation the, the interpretation for the patients and the and the doctors and it was like it was back and forth you know so I at the beginning, I, I I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it because I am I personally think I'm not very good at interpretation, but um I got used to it, you know. So then I was I was doing it automatically, but you know it it takes time, it takes time. Okay. So yeah, just you know, just stick to it, and and you'll you'll get better at it. I'm sure. But the, sure. practice, the practice uh, is the best. I, I the best sure. I understand. Did you live in Turkey? In Turkey? No. Did you live? No. No. Yeah. In yeah. this moment? Yeah. Did you live in Turkey? Turkey. Uh -huh. Yeah. Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Actually, it's Turkey right now. Turkey. Uh -huh. Turkey. Yeah. Do you it's... feel the, the airport teacher? Um, no, because I live in Istanbul, and Istanbul is very far away from um, oh, from the from epicenter. The, the epicenter. Yeah, oh. yeah. because uh, Istanbul is in the north, a north western part, and the the epicenter was in the south central mm -hmm. part. So it's it's like a 13 hour drive, 13, 14 hour drive. So it's it's 14. very far. Yeah, it's very it's far very, away. Very far. Yeah. It yeah. is is the, the country is in is uh is a uh, um what do you say? It's a big is it, it's, it's very it's, big. It's more yeah. it's, it's bigger from from Honduras. From the old Central America? Yes. Uh -oh. Yes. Um, I would say, uh, hold on. Let me see. I, 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 I'm going to tell you exactly how big it is. It's a, yeah, it's very, very big. Okay, just to give you an idea, just my city that, that I'm living in right now, Istanbul, is about... Let me see. I think it was, I think I saw that it was like six times bigger than San Salvador. Six times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, just Istanbul. Just wall, Istanbul. The world department. <laughs> okay. So, just one, just, just the um, city. Is yeah. the 36th country um, in the world in order to? size i don't know how to say yeah it's a 30 yeah exactly um so okay. it's um 
do you live near to the Neff Stadium? To the what stadium? Stadium. Stadium. Or stadium. Neff which, Stadium. Which? Neff. <gasps> Neff. I don't know. No. I don't know. <laughs> is that is that soccer? <laughs> Yeah, it's soccer. I'm, I'm so bad at soccer. I, I don't, I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't okay. really follow any soccer team. Ah, so okay. I don't the know. Teacher, the teacher hates the soccer. <laughs> Galatasaray? Um, okay. Yeah. If it's, if it's Galatasaray, then yes. Yeah, I, I, I live in the same city. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Galatasaray, yeah. place, place, place. Yeah. In that uh, okay. Well, what is the name? I should according know. According to according to Wikipedia, Neff, N E F, Neff Stadium. But stadium. Because also when when I saw a match, it's called the 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 I don't know how to translate hell in Turkish. Health in Turkey. Oh, I know this one. And the, 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 they call it in Spanish El Infierno Turco. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to oh, say it in English. Hell. Hell. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, let me see. Uh, it's in Sarie. Yeah, I okay. Sarie is in. Um, it's in the European side because a, I don't know if you guys know that um, Istanbul is the only city in the world between two continents. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, okay. So You're the nation. Yeah, so at this moment, I'm living on the European side. Um, and so, um, yes, according to... Um, According to um, to the information I'm getting, uh, I live approximately a, by car. I live 16 minutes away. Okay. Yeah, so it's not... Um, I live quite close. I didn't know. I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank you, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that's, mm -hmm. that's the only that mm -hmm. I heard about Turkey because I like watching football. Mm, yeah, especially European football. Yeah, yeah. I know Galatasaray is is a big thing here. So, but I'm just really bad at at soccer. Soccer. I don't. I, I don't I don't follow it, um, so I, I just I just know the team. I know that the team is from here, but that's it. That's all I know. I've never really seen them or anything. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. Then you like and, the sport or other sport? Yeah, I I'm actually into hockey. I like okay. hockey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's diff. Um. So a. Uh, so it says here that the area of Turkey is 783,356 kilometers, uh, kilometers squared. And El Salvador is 21,000 yeah. kilometers square. So yeah. that is like... Triple. No. No, uh, way more, more, more than way that. more. That's like, um, I don't know, more than only to Mexico. Only, to Mexico. only, only Istanbul is a lot, around seventy times the Saba. San Salvador, yeah. Um, no, it's not complete. Istanbul. Istanbul, according to Wikipedia, Istanbul really? is 1,538 1, kilometers. Hmm. So, okay, okay. It's divided 
At 21 is 73. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. And like, yeah, it's it's a huge country. <laughs> so yeah. so it, it was funny because um, the day of the earthquake, um, I, I woke up around 6.20. And, and it's 6.20, it's still dark here. But I woke up and um, I, you know, I just woke up because I... Uh, you know, unconsciously, I, I always wake up at that time, and um, and my my WhatsApp doesn't turn on, and like after two hours, if I don't check it, I don't get any notifications, like it just uh, turns off until I go back on. So I opened up my WhatsApp, and then all these bunch of messages came in. And I was like. This is weird, you know. Why? Why is why so many messages? And um, I thought maybe they're reacting to, to my my status. I don't know. And then I opened my one of my friends' messages, and she's like, "Jessica, we're so worried about you." And I'm thinking, "Why are you worried about me? I'm I'm nice and warm in my bed. I, well, what's wrong?" And she's like, "Yeah." Um, it, we were worried because of the of the earthquake and i was uh, like i was like there was an earthquake <laughs> yeah i i you know what i thought i thought i am probably so tired that i didn't feel an earthquake that's what i thought <laughs> Yeah. And I said, that's strange. So I go online and I start investigating and then I saw everything. I was like, wow, you know, I was I was shocked. But it was just so far away. We never felt anything at all. Uh, it yeah. was in the in the border. Yeah, it was Syria. Yeah. And I yeah, and I am more towards like the border with Greece. Like Istanbul is more going towards Greece than Syria. So it's like the opposite direction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, anyways. Turkey is bigger than, bigger than, bigger. What is the term? Bigger than bigger. Yeah. It's it's a big country, very big. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a what very, is very. What's the term for, for, for express that? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Um, huge. We can say huge. Uh, humongous. Also, that's another word. Um, enormous. Yeah. So we yeah, say enorm huge. Hum humong. And not huge, but humongous. Yeah. Humongous. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Let me just check the spelling. Yeah, humongous. Oh yes, humongous, humongous. humongous. Yeah, humongous uh -huh. or enormous. Uh, oh, humongous is gigantesco. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a new word for me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. It's <laughs> Turkey. It's <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> But, yeah, but 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 uh, Turkey is not. I wouldn't say humongous, really. I'd say Canada. Canada is humongous, um, yeah. but not yeah. not not Turkey. I would say Turkey is probably something like enormous. It's huge, huge, That's enormous. Right. But it's not humongous. Okay. Uh, humongous would be more something like Canada, United States, um, Canada. Russia, Russia. Mm -hmm. But the most of Russia and Canada is snow. <laughs> True. Right. True. Yeah. yeah. You see, but, and, but you are you from uh, from Salvador? Oh, no, mm -hmm. you those were uh, here. Okay, so I was born in El Salvador, and then when my when I was two years old, my parents. Uh, immigrated to Canada okay so I I grew up in Canada since I was two years old and until I was 20 years old so like two years ago <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> um, and uh, then I moved when I was 20 I moved to El Salvador again um, 
and I recently moved to Turkey. Okay, Pichu. yeah, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, for, for how long <laughs> time did you stay here in El Salvador? Oh, I was in El Salvador for like, oof. um, let me think. Uh, about 19 years. 19 years. Yeah, almost 18, years. 18, 19 years. Yeah. Yeah, so I was, I was there for a long, long, long time. Yeah. So now it was time to move. It was time to change new, <laughs> a new country. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend another 18, 19 years here in Turkey and we'll see what other good country comes after. <laughs> <laughs> but you live in Europe right now. Right? I live in what? In Europe. Europe. Europe side. Yeah, yeah. Europe and you, side. Right now, in this moment, I live in European side. But because I'm temporarily living with a friend, but I have to move, and when I move, I will be moving to the Europe to the Asian side. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I I mentioned it because in Europe, do. You you can take take a train mm -hmm. and or take a tour by Yuri. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly yeah. I plan to do that. Um, I plan to go to to Europe. Um, this time this time that I was coming to Turkey, I I went to 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 England. Oh. Um, yeah, so I was in England for a while. Uh, well, not for a while, just for for a day. Um, but I want to to visit other parts of 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 Europe, and then I want to also visit parts of Asia. So do a little yeah. bit of both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's we'll see. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see. What I know you. <laughs> Okay. okay. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys, enough of me. We're gonna go back to the main room. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You, All right. See ya. See ya. See you, teacher. Dora, no sabía que estaba acá. No me, no me había avisado. El, el, el. Oh. Dora, did you just come in? It, your microphone, it's off. You have to, you have to, um, to turn on the microphone. Ah, there it is. Yes, I, I have a problem with my computer in with uh, uh the microphone. In, I, I try to to work in, with phone and with computer, like mm -hmm. uh, David. Excellent, yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do that, you do that. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's no problem. Uh, you, can, you can be in both devices, that's okay. Recording. You need to, to to turn off the mic of the your computer for feedback to not do feedback. Uh, yes, yes. So Dora, you can be on two devices, but the only thing is that one device you're gonna have to take off the um uh, either take off the the audio completely or put it on mute. So one of those two. Okay, but um, yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Excellent. So guys, sorry about that. Um, I gave you much more time than I expected, but um. I'm sure that you guys had the opportunity of sharing and everything. So let's let's see if you guys um understand this. 
Oh, well done. Oh, sorry. Real moment, I'm gonna put it complete. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so. All right, so you guys can see this, right? Okay, so remember, these words are words that we can use in any different um, context, but here we're specifically thinking about IOTs, the IOT, okay? So let's talk about analytics. Um, let me see, maybe... Me, did you? Okay, David, go ahead. Yeah, what do you understand from this? Okay, uh, analytic is a, a oriented to large amount of data. When you work with large amount of data, you need to analyze that amount of information, or sorry, data to get the information that you need. Uh, if you don't analyze, you get overwhelmed with all of the information. And obviously, you need uh, algorithms, you need uh, software, you need applications that can do the work of analyze the information and give the, the data, sorry, analyze the data and give the useful information that the company, that the organizations need to work properly. Analyzing the information is that kind of selecting the, the, the inputs and make useful information for people, organizations, companies, or for every IoT system. Very good. Okay, excellent. Um, all right. Did everybody get that same definition? Did, or not the definition, but did you get that idea? Or do you want to add to that in that idea? Anything you want to add to? Silence, I need to check all of the hierarchy. <laughs> Where are we? Everybody agrees. <laughs> okay. All right. Basically, analytics um, recollect information. Yes. Uh, for example, for different models. So uh, it's, it's like a, when you insert the information, but then you need to generate a result. That the first step in that uh, process is analytics because you need to insert all information in a system for example excellent very good i i love that part that you mentioned that that's the first step very good because it's a process right so yes absolutely you need to um first step we need to um insert the information get results and analyze that right so that's the analytics wonderful okay in some oh. kinds, in some sorry, teacher, in some no, no, go ahead. in some situations, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you are analyzing the the rain or the snow or or some weather situations. Mm -hmm. Maybe the IoT give a, a special kind of sensor that input the information. Mm -hmm. and they collect mm -hmm. the information in the system and then analyze and they can make conclusion like a close an airport something like that very so good excellent yeah they give the information of the environment yes yeah to give you an example um a, a right now um where i i'm where i'm at um in the city it's it's very cold and it's been very windy, okay? And the weather has not been very good. It's been windy, it's been snowing. Um, so it's not the best weather. Now there is a ferry, a ferry that um, that that 
uh, goes from one side of the city to the other side, right? From from Europe to Asia, and um, um, so it, obviously it it passes by a strait, the Bosphorus. So because the weather has not been very good this past week, the um, the what's it called um the ferries have not been working but how have they gotten that information what or better said it, why have they not been working because the wind the wind has a, been so strong and it's not good because that makes that the waters are unstable and so because if the waters are unstable the the it could be very dangerous to be navigating um through even with the ferries so that's why they they decided not to to have the ferries so where do they get that information from well obviously they get it from iot's right but to be able to get that information they need to get the um they need to put the in get the input of the wind, you know, of how strong the wind is, how it's affecting the waters, and that way be able to input that information to see if it's possible, if it's safe enough for the ferries to go by or not. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it's all clear? Okay, wonderful. All right, uh, let's go to the next one, data-driven optimization. Uh, maybe, um, Ileana? Are you there, Ileana? Um, can, can you help us with that one, the next one, the data-driven optimization? Optimization. Yeah, Elena, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. I'm okay, here. Whatever. Okay, wonderful. <clears throat> can you help us with that one, the data-driven yeah. optimization? Okay. okay. Okay, after we discussed this concept, this was like the hard for me to understand. I don't understand uh, at first, but I think that I got the idea. Um, I understand that data driven optimization is when uh, machines through the IOTs uh, makes decisions uh, and improve their performances based in the data and information that they the machines already collected and already processed. So I understand that this concept applies to, yeah, maybe more directly to the machines or the artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Uh, just be careful um, with the this word here, it's driven, not driven, but driven. Okay. Driven, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Very good though, excellent, very Thank good. You. Yeah, exactly. Um, anybody wanna add to that? I understand that data-driven optimization is the output. Uh, when you uh, need uh, to get a result, for example, when you uh, create a report in the system, but before that you need to insert the analytics so the first one uh, step is analytics and then you you get the result with data driven optimization okay yeah so right okay so first we get the the data we analyze the data once we got the information from the data we put the data into a, a system to to analyze it uh, and to see if um, what we can do with that information, right? If how we can use that information for our benefit. Yeah, that would be the data, data-driven optimization. 
okay? Data-driven optimization, okay? All right, very good. Uh, Fernando Ernesto, can you help us with the automa automation? Automation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's when you, for example, ha want to, we have a different device sensors and collect and share data, uh, but you can, uh, using IoT, you, you can uh, use that devices for automation. And it's, it's, it's always when you, for example, want to change a process, maybe our process that before you, you make, for example, a, a form on paper and you want to improve your, your process, improving your company, you, you maybe buy the different technologies for automation that maybe are different processes in your company. And you can increase the, the efficiency, the productivity, uh, reducing costs, and maybe saving time for making the, the process that before you made in, in a different way, and now using uh, IoT with different devices, sensors, or all those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, anybody wanna add to that? Mm. Also teacher, uh, I think that with the automation, uh, one of the goals or, or, or may maybe the impacts that, that, that have is that uh, the human intervention is reduced or almost eliminated in order to optimize the processes and the resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Okay, all right. Okay, finally, we have digital transformation. Um, can help us with that. Jose Osmin, can you help us with digital transformation? Sorry, teacher, but I didn't understand that, that word. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, just could you do my favor, Jose Osmin? Could you turn on the camera because we can't see you? Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, what if, um, let me see who else can help me here. Okay. Um, let's see if Fernando Marvin, maybe you can help us. Digital transformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, sorry. For me, in in a simple way, or or, or that way that I understand, the digital, digital transformation is is take your process and convert through the use of technology like software machines in a automated process. So it's extend your process and made it more easier and efficiency using using all kind of this of technology okay yeah okay very good okay excellent anything else that you guys want to add somebody else wants to add something to the digital digital transformation Teacher, uh, I understand is when you, uh, for example, is when a um, company or organization uh, convert to the manual process into the uh, in, uh, process when uh, use uh, the technology, use the technology for, uh, for make more efficiently the process, for example, I understand that issue. Co convert the manual process into change. Uh, 
the chains, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. chains in the, the correct word, and change the manual process in into uh, a process with technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with like or software, yeah. using technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, yeah, yeah. Um, Yes, that, that can also be referred to digital transformation. Um, however, remember that IoT is already uh, in a digital format. Like um, it, it already involves um, digital devices. Right. So basically, um, when we are doing the digital transformation, um, we are we are um, optimizing, let's say, optimizing uh, use, using the digital um, the, the digital devices, like making the software um, much more um yeah, let's say useful, right? That that would be the the trans the the part of the how, um, like I said, this is like a a process. Let's say right. So, um, the digital transformation is, is let's say like a result of all the the process that is made with the um the analytics, right? The automation. So we end up with a digital transformation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else we want to add? No, teacher. Okay. All right. Because of time, we're just going to quickly um, take attendance. And then stop there. And we're going to take attendance. Uh, make sure that your camera is on, guys, so that we don't um so that we don't have a a backup okay um ana claudia is not here david samuel present teacher yeah dora 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 elizabeth flores vende She's having problem with her audio. Hello, Dora. You you can turn yes. off. Okay, I need you to turn yes, on sir. your cam your camera as well. Uh, not possible. Maybe. Not possible. No. No. Mm, no. Because okay. I saw you before in the in with the the yes. uh, with the, your cell phone. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, Fernando Ernesto? Present. Fernando Marvin? Present. Uh, Francisco Eduardo? Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Heidi? Heidi? Uh, Ileana? Present, teacher. Harvin? Jose Marcos? Jose Marcos, no. Okay. Uh, Jose Osmin? Present. Jose Wilfredo? Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Juan Miguel? Juan Miguel? Juan Miguel Bran Mejía se encuentra. Ramón Enrique Mata? Ramón Enrique Mata. Ramón, ah, oh no, sorry, Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roxana Ivet. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, William Alexander. Sorry, Laura, we couldn't hear you very well. Maybe you can write in the chat if then if you need to say something. 
um with you. okay very good uh sule maybon uh wendy present teacher okay present teacher wonderful thank you and wilfredo guardado Okay. All right, guys, just a reminder that uh, we need to be able to um, hear you say present and everything when you when we call out your name, because uh, I've noticed sometimes some people connect, they have their cameras off, they don't um, answer when we have the attendance, and that does not count, okay? So it's not just about being connected, it's actually about about showing that you're there okay so please um just keep that in mind all right guys um that will be all for today i will see you monday and i hope you have a wonderful weekend okay thank you teacher all right good night oh i'm sorry guys i forgot to say um iliana iliana is your turn today so um, okay all right Okay. Thank you, Petra. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you, Petra. Thank you. Juan Miguel, are you still there? Juan Miguel? Okay. All right. Um. Eliana, how are you? Hi, teacher. Great. Good. A little bit sleepy at this time, but... Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but um, the good thing is that you'll be able to... Uh, you said that you don't, you don't work tomorrow, right? No. Okay, no. so good. So you will be able to sleep until uh, yeah, late. Definitely. <laughs> what time do you normally wake up when you we don't have to go to work? Mm, it depends. Sometimes my body is like at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Like, wake up, wake up, Eliana. And I think it's maybe the routine. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, normally on Sundays, it's like the day when I when I sleep late. When I woke up late, sorry. On, wake up like and on Sundays on Sundays yeah maybe like around 10 or 11 yeah. nice <laughs> nice nice okay good yeah well hopefully you'll be able to sleep a little bit um a little bit more tomorrow right yeah uh, so. yeah yeah you don't have to wake up like you don't have something important to do tomorrow morning mm, I have some errands like I have to go to the bank to to make some pages and oh yeah and after that, that yeah I have to take my car to the to the how do you say tire mm. to the body shop or to the yeah. mechanics to the mechanics yeah I have to change the 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 um, the tires oh, okay okay yeah. okay well you know what though I I'll be honest I don't suggest you go so early to the bank because everybody goes really early to the bank and you have a big lineup at eight o'clock in the morning. And so there's really no point. Instead, go a little bit later, around 10, 1030. And yeah. there, it will be there will be less people. I actually, I was thinking that 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 maybe that this thing the, of the bank can wait until Monday. So maybe hmm. maybe I I'm I'm just gonna do that to to go to the bank on my lunch time oh okay mm -hmm. i i'm if gonna think about it it depends of, of, of the hour that i wake up oh, okay yeah yeah and um if you have digital banking um also sometimes you can do things from there and you don't have to really worry about going you know to the bank percent, you know, so that could be an, another option if you if it's possible for you to do it through yeah, the, I use um, that that tool all the time because I I hate 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 to go to the bank but this this thing that I have to do it's 
There's no way around it. Mandatory to 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 go to the bank. Mm -hmm. Thirty-two. Okay. I mean, someone okay. is knocking my door. Okay, no problem. Sorry. That's okay. Um, so, um, so um, going back to uh, our class, do you have any questions, anything you want to ask me about, um, anything you're having problems with? Um, actually, no teacher with the platform. Um, I don't have any problems, not yet. Okay. <laughs> and... No, yeah, yeah. In general, I I feel very comfortable with the methodology of the classes. Okay. I really like to, 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 to talk. Was I, I I'm learning to to talk and and I and don't feel, um, like nervous. Maybe that that, that was a thing. A thing that that I, that I, at the beginning of the of the classes when I when I started in the intermediate five mm -hmm. I was like shaking when, when the teacher okay Elena what do you think about this and and I was like I don't want to talk mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but at this at this point I think that I feel more comfortable when I'm talking yeah. and I think that the methodology that you use is very helpful so I I feel comfortable and I liked the way that we work and um, okay. on the replace. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm, I'm glad to hear that um that you're feeling comfortable. It's very important to feel comfortable in a class because if you don't feel comfortable you can't really participate, right? So I'm glad you're feeling good about it. Um yeah, it, is there any questions so far about anything we've done? Mm, no teacher I try to to check the manual again when I have maybe something or, or some word of vocabulary that, that I that I don't understand or, mm -hmm. or a new word mm -hmm. I try to 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 check the 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 manual again and and try to write the the things so I I don't forget the meanings and and like you said, it's not the same when you only know like the concept and when you use that word in a conversation, for example. Yeah, yeah. And you know that it's coming, right? You know that's yeah. coming. <laughs> right? Yeah. So right now we're looking at the vocabulary and then we're gonna start actually using it in context, right? So yeah. yeah, okay, good, good, good. I'm glad. Anything at all, just remember, you can always contact me whether it's in the chat or directly write to me and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Okay? Oh, okay, teacher. All right. Okay, take care, Eliana. And, Thank you, um, too. All right, ha I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You too, teacher. Thank Thanks. you. See you Bye. Monday. See you Bye -bye. Monday. Bye-bye.